Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Another hour of what we loosely call entertainment around here. <laughs> I am going to answer questions in the chat. I'm going to have some people call in. I'm going to talk a lot of nonsense because, well, blog talk's down. And when blogs talk, when blog talk is down, I just, I go into nonsense. I just talk, talk nonsense nonsense. All right. Um, okay. Announcements. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you and tell you you need a reading. Please don't let anybody uh, tell you they are me when they're not. If they're not a straight up fool, it's just not me. Don't get scammed. Don't let them take your money. Second, um, if you do want a private reading, you can call my number 414-897-2869 or go to my website, tonig.info. Okay. If you are calling in or online with a question, love it. Please do it. Um, please have an exact question. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please give me their name, first name, and um who they were to you, and then we will make connections. Let's not forget, folks, February 2nd, I am going to be in Daytona doing a show at the Cinematique. I, I think tickets are still available for that. So if you would like tickets, you can go to Cinematique Daytona and get tickets for that. Um, the link is also in the bio below if you're on YouTube. All right. Um... Should we do songs or names first, everybody? Songs or names? Names. Okay, this might be your name, somebody in the other side's name, or the name of somebody you both knew. However it comes across, if it feels right, and it feels like it's for you, please, by all means, take it. The first name I'm hearing is Jonathan. The next name I'm hearing is Joseph. Are we going to do this alphabetically again? Uh, sorry. Maria Consuela, which I, yeah, Consuela. Um, the name Julian, the name Jeffrey. I, you know what? They're saying a lot of names I can't even pronounce tonight. Uh, they're trying to spell them for me. M-E-G. Something T-I-T-O. M-E-G. Then there's a letter T-I-T-O. I don't know how even to start with that, but that's what I'm getting. Uh, Lucinda. And I'm going to go to songs because that is really a lot of names that I can't even, there's a lot of names coming in that I cannot pronounce. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is songs. This could be answering a question that you have. This song could be a song they loved, you loved, or you, you listened to together, or you just knew, um, whatever. So the songs are, um, that song, Let Me Love You. Let me love you. I cannot sing on beat, in tune, or at all. I just can't. This is the way they bring it through. This is what I do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't even do that. That song, Let Me Love You. Um, or that's just the important part of it because they're giving me no other words. So if somebody out there wants you to just let them love you. Just please. Let them love you. Okay, the next song is um, <laughs> where <laughs> where is Heather? The next song is I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God! Is it gonna be one of those love song nights? <laughs> no, not tonight. I can't. I can't tonight. Um, okay. 
Oh, <laughs> I have to laugh or I will cry tonight. If I don't laugh, I will straight up be crying. Um, okay, the next song. <laughs> Oh, the next song is, um, okay, it's a Christmas song. Do you hear what I hear? Uh, something, uh, something, 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 something. <laughs> if you think I'm bringing you songs, I know. That right there tells you I am not. <laughs> I am bringing you songs I have. <laughs> I do not know the words to. Um, if you want me to sing you a song, I know I'm going to start singing that song by, um, oh, they're not even letting me have the words to like, uh, uh dancing. I was going to say sleeping with a stranger. That's not it. It's dancing with a stranger. <laughs> I wasn't even going out tonight, but I think I am now. I think I am now. <laughs> But I just can't get you off my mind. That song. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I, yeah. Okay, the next song. Okay, let me get serious. Let me pull my poop to, to a group and get it together. The next song is, um, what, you know what? We're done with songs. We're just not going to do any more songs. We're done with names. We're done with songs. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, y'all. Something threw me off before the show a little bit. And I am, I am here. I am here. So let's go. I want to thank everybody here in the chat. And I want to apologize, apologize again about uh, a blog talk not being available. Um, so I'm going to say hi to some people on YouTube. Oh, you know what? Before I say hi to people on YouTube, you guys, awards are coming up again for WSCS. Every year they hold awards for our show. So if if there is a show that you guys uh, watched that you really loved over the past year, please let me know which one that is because I'll submit it. I can submit shows and they'll enter it and then maybe we can win. I don't know. No no money is involved. There are no money prizes, but that's not why we do this. Okay, 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 okay. See, when I have no one to talk to on the phone, I just have to be both sides of the conversation. That's all I'm saying. Okay, um, Jennifer, hey, I'm so happy you caught me live to A271. A2115, that's the name. Hey, Dion Sharbar, Char Bear, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. I'm going to go through and read the questions after I say hi to everybody. Um, Nika? Ne Nika. Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. Um, Dion, if I miss you, please accept my apology. Uh, I know Aloha Jay is here. Um, Amy. Hey, Amy. Okay, if I missed you, please forgive me. I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy whatever you celebrate. And you guys, it's almost 2024, which I'm very excited about because 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. Being an 8 year means um, it's a year of power and prosperity. And then also, if you are a Gemini, if you are a Gemini, or wherever you have Gemini in your chart, uh, Jupiter is going into Gemini. So all those areas that you have Gemini in, Jupiter will be shining on. Um, this happens every 12 years. So check out your chart, look at where you have Gemini and um, see where you're going to have some luck this year. Yeah, because Jupiter is the planet of luck. Okay, let's see what we have here. Shar. Share, share bear, share bear wants to know. I love my tile I bought when I remodeled my kitchen. I know it's beautiful. 
I know it is. <laughs> um, now I want to tile my whole condo with the same tile. Yeah, don't do carpet. Carpet is so icky. Carpet holds so much. Ugh, I don't like carpet. Um, how are my finance going to be in the next six months? Good. I instantly hear good, very solid. They're going to go, as a matter of fact, incrementally going up, incrementally going up. Have faith in the decisions that you make with that. It'll be good for you. Dion, last time I watched your live. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. It could have been YouTube kind of like sometimes, or it could be my my um, my Wi-Fi. I'm not really sure. Sorry about that, Dion. If it's lagging, you guys, I'm really sorry. I'm not a technology person. I can barely um, get on half the time. Okay, uh, waiting anxiously. Thank you, um, Julie. Okay, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call, we're going to use my, my business number again tonight, 414-897-2869. The way we're going to do this, I'm going to take the first caller. I will answer one question. And then if once I have the first caller, please don't call in until I hang up with that person. And then we're going to go from there. Hey, Genevieve. Um, uh, Genevieve wants to know. Oops, lost you. Genevieve wants to know. Um, I had, a, did I make? Yeah, yeah. And still, okay, so Genevieve had a big Christmas thing and she wants to know if she made her mother and father and grandma and granddad um, happy. Yes, they were there. Um, they were there. They loved it. It was amazing for them. It was amazing for them. Okay. Nika. I want to try to pronounce your last name, but I'm not going to because I know I will mess it up. Um, I wanted to know if there are any messages about a new relationship. Oh, sookie, sookie. Let's find out. Instantly, I hear February, March, which means in February, March, you might be meeting somebody if you're out and about. I do feel like this is a person of tradition for you because I hear traditional, traditional, traditional. So whatever that means to you, Nika, um, traditional, this is a person, either this person is very traditional or they're going to be traditional for you. The next thing I'm hearing about this person is they are... Um, well suited for you. And I do see them dressed professionally, which means they probably have a professional career, even if they don't dress professionally all the time. I feel like, Nika, you are going to meet them in a casual environment. Um, yeah, you're going to meet them in a casual like, I don't want to say casual, I do want to say casual environment, but what I want to say is when you meet them, people might be a little bit more casual, not like really dressed up. Okay. That's what I want to say, Nika. I hope that's helpful. Um, and then we are going to go to um, Catherine. Hi, Tony. Is Loretta coming through? Who's Loretta to you, Catherine? I have to remember where I am in this and ask. Uh, hey, Patrick, how are you? Uh, hi, I love Tarot. Uh, uh, oh, I love that you're a medium too. I love Tarot. I love that. Oh my gosh, just absolutely love that. Um, okay, so, okay, uh, Catherine, please put down who Loretta is for you, who she is to you. I, Whenever I connect with somebody from the other side, I like to know their first name and who they are to you. I am going to tell you, and then I, I, I ask a question also to make sure that you're still watching. Cause if you're still, if you're not watching, I'm moving to the next person who is still watching. So if you don't answer, I'm just gonna go to the next person who would still be watching. So um, while I'm waiting for Catherine to answer, uh, yeah, um, share bear, 
when blog talk is not working, I just use my own number, which is 414-897-2869. So if anybody wants to call in and ask on air tonight, they can call my phone and my business number and we will do the call that way. Um, so yeah, so let's see. Catherine said, Loretta is my sister-in-law. Suddenly passed away. Okay. Uh, hey, Dion, just hold on for one second while I get Catherine's question answered. So Catherine, Loretta wants to say, the first thing she's saying is she's sorry, she's sorry, she's sorry. Whatever that means for you and your situation, Catherine, and the families, she's stressing the family situation. I feel like she left behind a lot of what I'm hearing is muck. She left behind a lot of, like, I hear the word quicksand, Catherine. So what that can mean is people feel like they're drowning and they can't pull themselves out. Or she felt like she was in quicksand and couldn't pull herself out. Whichever way this is, I apologize. I'm Whatever this is at the time of her passing. And then again, she's sorry. The next thing she wants to say is... Um, these are very random words I'm hearing from her, so I hope they make sense. Please confirm if they do. Mistletoe. And um, migration. Maybe? I don't know. I don't want to guess what it means because either you and your family are going to know what it means or you're not going to know what it means. And I don't want to put, like, say, it could mean this. It could mean that. You're going to know what that means. Somebody in your family is going to know what that means. She is saying, tell them I love them. T tell them I love them. Tell them I miss my baby. Oh, won't you tell them? That's the song that's coming through from her. And then the next thing she wants to say is um, take care of them. Take care of them. Take care of them. Take care of them. Uh, don't let them... I don't know why she's saying this, but don't let them think that it's their fault or they could have done everything. Any, she's, It came out everything, but I'm going to say anything different. Um, so please, please know that, Catherine. I hope that makes um, sense. Um, I hope that makes sense. And maybe, okay, so Catherine says uh, she passed in her sleep, no sickness. Maybe they think they... They should have been able to, like, sometimes in those cases, people think they should have been able to know something was wrong or they should have been there if they would have been there. Whatever that is for them, let them know there's, there, there, there wasn't, it is what it, what it is, it was what it was, and there was nothing that could be any different about it. And that's the most important thing for her to let them know that it, that is just it. Okay. So I, I'm so sorry for you and your family's loss. I really am. Okay. I'm going to go to Dion. Dion, how are you? Hi, Tony. Thank you so much for my call. Mm -hmm. How can I help you tonight, Dion? Abza, thanks for calling in. How can I help you? Okay. So what my, one of my friend's sister just passed away recently, suddenly. And so I was calling you because you're such an awesome medium to see if you could tell me like what happened there. What's her up? name is BJ. BJ. Okay. What, um, what does the B stand for please? Bobby. <laughs> yeah. I should have just said Bobby Jean. Right. But I did not right. <laughs> Of course I didn't, but I was hearing it. She's right here. So you saying that and her saying it, I should have just, thank you so much. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you is the first thing that she wants to say is, um, I have to be very careful of the way I say this because, um, YouTube now has AI and certain words will trigger this. So I, I can't even use certain words, but it had something to do with something in the chest area, whether that is, whether that goes known or unknown, it had something to do with something in the chest area. Having said that, the next thing, again, 
that I want to say is, um, there, I'm hearing this, <clears throat> and please don't take this the way it's going to come out at first. This should be a confirmation of some sort. I think this is a song or this was a movie or this. It sounds familiar to me, but no rest for the wicked. Um, I don't know if that was like someone she knows is going to know that either she used to say that they used to say that something like that statement means something to somebody she knows. OK, second or third, wherever we are on this. She wants to tell them, and the, I'm going to tell you the connection is here, but it's not as strong as it could be, okay? And she's not giving me as much as, um, as sometimes I can get. And she she's kind of doing that a little bit I'm hearing intentionally, but the next thing that she wants to say to you, she wants to let you know that, or let, let the, okay, that's, that's it. Let the, let the family know, let the family know that she had such a, did she have, I have a feeling she had like such a sense of humor, um, at some point, because every time I go to make a statement, she breaks into a song. And it's, to me, that's somebody with a good sense of humor or a really good personality. What I'm going to say is uh, she wants them to know she's okay. She's already been there and back and there and back again. And again, that's the sense of humor. She's like um, singing that song. I've been around the world and I still can't find my baby. Well, I, I know I sang that completely off, out of beat and off tune and everything. But if you, so she's, but the, the, the important part of that song is she has been, she's been able to, she's like using the statement, seen it all, done it all. So since she passed, even if it's been such a short little bitty period of time, she has been, you know, she's seen the world now. Okay. To me, that's, I know what that means in my world. In my world, that means they can go any place, be any place, do anything like that, like in seconds, in seconds, anything they ever wanted when they were, if they wanted to see the Eiffel Tower, it's there. They wanted to see the Coliseum. It's, it's there. There's no, like, it's like, in the mind, but it's also in a second you're there. There's no travel time, so to say. You are where you think when you're, thank you. Thank you, Bobby Jean, that you are where you think when you're in that place, except for the, the sad thing is you have now all of this information. And this is, I don't know why she's coming through with this, but you have all this information about the other side and you want to tell everybody on this side, but now you can't tell them because they can't hear you and they won't understand you, but you keep trying to tell them, I'm okay. I'm, I'm flying every place. I'm every place. I'm doing everything, but they can't hear you. And that's her talking very, very fast. She's very jazzed up, I must say. She's extremely jazzed up about everything right now. So please let them know to listen to this. And please let them know that she is with them, um, consistently with them. And to uh, don't, don't fight or don't argue about things. So whether they're going to know what that's about when that time comes, if it hasn't come yet, but don't fight and don't argue about things is a very strong message that's coming through from her for her family, whatever that means. Again, I'm not going to put a meaning with it. Her family, if and when that time comes, will understand it. Okay, Dion, I hope that oh, I hope that was helpful, love. It was. Thank you so much, Tony. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely my pleasure, love. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope you have an absolutely amazing 
uh, rest of the day. And just to let you and everybody else know, I will be here New Year's Day doing a New Year's show also. So you guys can call in on Monday. I'll be happy to hopefully blog talk, you know, fingers crossed blog talk. If not, we'll be doing this again. Okay. All right. Thank Th you. Thank you so much, love. Thank you. So if you would like to call in, the number is 414-897-9000. Um, uh, um, I'm just going to announce again, I'm going to be in Daytona. I'm so, I cannot tell you how excited I am about Daytona in February, February 2nd. First and foremost, my friends, my dear, dear friends that I adore, Michelle and David, are... Um, I'm going to get to see them, which is phenomenal for me. Plus, I have so many people in the Florida area that I know and I love. Like, not all of them live in Daytona, but like my friend Trista um, and some people, um, uh, Kathy and Brian, John. There are just so many people I know in Florida, and hopefully I will get to see at least a couple of them. Let's not forget Jimmy. I mean, there's so many people in Florida that I'm friends with and that I would love to just be able to say hi face to face with because I haven't been able to um, in quite some time. And the fact that I am I was booked in for an event there is just such an honor. Um, the Cinematique is this um, theater that's a nonprofit theater that is, it's just going to be so much fun it's going to be so, so much fun. So yes, that's what I have about that. Um, okay, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer <laughs> would love any message from spirit if drawn to me or if my seven-year-old son will get past this emotional rough stage soon. Okay, so first of all, Jennifer, let's do a let's do a clearing. Uh, okay, let's clear that uh, for you, your son, everybody else uh, listening. Emotionally, we are healthy. Um, we're going to clear that to a yes. Um, psychologically, we are healthy. We're going to clear that to a yes. Now, you know what, folks? I don't don't right away be like, I'm emotionally healthy. I'm psychological. This just means something happened that threw us a little off kilter. It just means like sometimes breakups or, you know, not, and, and for a little seven-year-old, anything can emotionally, like somebody saying the wrong thing at school, whatever it is, can throw us emotionally off kilter. So let's clear all of that, no matter what it is, and let it go, okay? And then uh, a message, um, uh, okay, Jennifer, I usually ask what people want a message about if you have a specific question, but Jennifer, I love that she's, it's J-E-N-N-I-F-A. So that's why I'm calling her Jennifer. <laughs> I'm having fun doing it. I'm intentionally saying her name a bunch of times because I just think it makes me cool, which it does not. And I am aware. Um, a message for Jennifer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. Focus in on what's really important right now. There's something going on um, and you need to focus in on what's really important. And I know this message is sounding very vague, but I can only give you what they give me. Um, and the exact statement is focus in on what's important for a minute or, you know, whatever that means for you. Let go of all the things you don't, let's just say need, I don't know how they mean this and just focus in on what's really important. Um, can you give me a little bit more? Con uh, when I asked for more context, they said she knows. And I know that tone. 
So I'm not going to push it with them. And I'm really sorry, Jennifer. That is your message. And I'm going to let it sit there. Jennifer, when I get to the bottom, if I still have time and you have another more direct question, I will answer that. But do listen to that clearing again. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be here New Year's Day again at noon. Um, and we will be doing New Year's wishes. So write down your New Year's wishes and we'll clear anything stopping or blocking them. Be ready to post them into the YouTube thinger and we'll clear them all. Um, if you can't be here New Year's Day and you have New Year's wishes you would like cleared, we can start doing that today. Plus, I'll be answering questions and making connections. Okay. Um, Oh, Cher Bear is a Gemini. Her rising is a Gemini. Yeah, you know what? My Venus is in Gemini. My There's Gemini in my Venus. So I'm always like weirdly attracted to my same sign. And every single time it bites me in the booty because as much as you think you want someone like you, yeah, it's fun. I can't, I can't lie, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I know that was such unnecessary information for the world to have. Um, no, I actually, Cher Bear, have um, Gemini in at least four places. It's my sun sign. And then it's in like, I think, four other places on my chart. So yeah, I'm a hot mess all the time. Um, Catherine says, I accepted a job offer. Do you see... It is a good decision. Yeah, I feel like there's something better coming right on the heels of this or right behind this. Don't stop looking. Keep looking. Um, something else is coming in and it's going to be more more money, more dineros, more moolah. It's like uh, it's just coming in. Um, so please, even if you even after you have started this job position, if something else comes in, Talk to them, see what they have to say, and and go for it if it's a better position. Because I do feel like, now, don't say no to this position. Take this position because a thing coming in might be a month, two months. So go with this. But right behind this, there's another position that's going to offer you more, okay? So I want you to know that. And when it comes, don't feel badly if you transition over. Believe me, companies have no problem letting go of somebody. So if you get a better offer, don't end this one until you do get the better offer. But if you do get a better offer, take it, okay? Uh, I love Tro. Hello, Angie. Hey, Tony. Will I'm just gonna call them Ray and uh the panel like me at the interview. Thank you. Yes, I instantly hear yes. See, that was such an easy question. I want to add more to it, but it's just a yes. Yes, they're gonna like you. I thought that question was going in a whole nother direction. Yeah, it did not. <laughs> okay, 414-897-2869. Um, Eva wants to know, oh, Eva's a Gemini rising too. Love my gems. I love Geminis. I just, I know, I know. Uh, I love Tarot wants to know, what does spirit want me to know? The first statement I hear is make your next move, make your next move. And then I hear hustle. And then I hear that song. Get down on it. If you really want it, jump on it. Is it jump on it? I know Patrick's going to know this. Get down on it. Get down on it. If you really want it. Okay, I sing intentionally worse because if I try to sing, it just sounds like a sick cat. But um, get down, jump down on it. Get down on it. Jump down on it. Whatever it is, they're saying get get on it whatever it is that you've been thinking of you want to do go for it it's time to get hustle do the hustle do 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 do
do, 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 do. I'm trying to read and sing at the same time. It does not work at all. Oh, uh, thank you for the message. You are welcome, Nika. Yeah, you know what, Nika? Okay, so Nika responded to her message. She said, many men are not traditional. They're not even close anymore. They're not even close anymore. Men just want to, like, we're in this go with the flow generation of men. A lot of men out here are these, can we just see where this goes? Do you get in your car and say that, sir? Mm, I don't date for fun. I don't date for a boyfriend. If if I'm going to take my time out of my life to spend time with you, I'm dating for, you know, something real. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, there are, there are not many, a lot of non-traditional men out there. But hold out because... I'm going to tell you something, Nika, a traditional man is coming in for you. And please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name, but there is a traditional man coming in. And then again, I hear February, March, and by October, this you're going to know, I'm going to say this, September, October, you are going to know exactly where this is going. This man isn't going to play when it comes to you. Nika, this man is not going to play when it comes to you. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. he is he's ready for that next step so here's here's one thing I say about the dating world um you can meet the right man at the wrong time and the wrong man at the right time so men settle down traditionally at certain points in their life and these points are when they're ready when they feel like they're ready and they have everything under control most men that want to settle down will settle down at that point. So if they have like some men, it will be, I'm going to give up just a few couple little examples. Some men, it will be 18. They finished high school and maybe they're going, they're ready. They have, you know, their next step in mind, but they're going to get married and do what they do. The next group of men are right after college or right as they're graduating from college. They know that they're ready. They're going to be in that place where they're ready to start that family or have that commitment and take that next step in their life. If some men are once they've graduated and they're in that career position and it's solid. Now, those are the men that really like that safety net. They don't, they may know they're graduating, but they're not going to make that commitment step yet. They're going to wait until they're actually in their position and they know where everything is and how it looks. Those are the men that are real nesters and they want to, they're, they're planners and they're nesters and they're, they're, once they know that's it, they know. Um, but then you have your forever boys. He's in a big boy body, but he's still dating like he's 16. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Don't assume that just because somebody has a big boy body, they're ready to settle down like a big boy would. <laughs> I'm sorry. And please don't take that personally, girls, because it absolutely has nothing to do with you. You could be the most perfect person in the world and under different circumstances or with a different person, a man, you would be so appreciated. Um, some people just, some, some guys just never want to settle down and there's nothing, you cannot change that man. Please don't think you can change that. That doesn't only they can decide if or when they're going to change. Okay, um, I did this whole comedy skit. <laughs> Your girl here has been having so much trouble sleeping. A lot, um, at, I'm up all night. So I did this whole comedy skit comparing men to restaurants or to the type of like to the type to the type men to the way they date using restaurants last night if you guys want to hear that but just 
Y'all say yes, and I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh, it's it's not as funny to you as it is to me, but I thought it was funny last night. Again, it was like three in the morning, and I couldn't sleep, so everything was funny. Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> Amy said, Amy said yes. Yo, Jay Jay Fran says no elf hat tonight, but I'm looking for something fun for New Year's Eve. I seriously am. Okay, um, I have two yeses on the dating. Um, Eva wants to know, do you see anything regarding my health? Okay, Eva, I'm going to tell you because of um because of YouTube and their guidelines, I cannot talk about anything health related on the show. And I apologize for that because there is a lot I probably could say. So you could do a private reading or when I'm in Daytona, come on in. And because uh, I see you live in Daytona, I hope I get to see you too. Um, February 2nd. Um, uh, uh, so because of the YouTube guidelines, and I already have one strike against me. Waha! <laughs> And it was a health thing that they tagged me on. So I'm trying to be really careful now. Um, so, yes. Um, hey, aloha, Jay. Okay, I'm going to tell you my, my, my dating, my guys and their dating. And this can go for girls, too. I just say guys because, you know, I'm a, I'm a girl. So I always say guy to girl instead of girl to guy, but anything, believe me, anything I say, you can flip that because I know girls who are so much more scandalous than these boys out here. I know girls that are so scandalous. Oh, am so scandalous. I mean, they, they're doing things I, mm, I cannot say on the show. Okay. So last night while I was trying to sleep and could not, I was, <laughs> and I know you guys will probably not think this is as funny as I do, but here we go. So guys in their dating styles. So you have your fast food guy, you have your buffet guy, you have your restaurant guy, and then you have your cooking a meal at home guy. So let me break this down for you. <laughs> the fast food guy in the dating world he wants it cheap fast and easy <laughs> he doesn't even want to have to shave anything he doesn't care if you shave anything he wants to show up he wants to get his sausage on and he wants to be able to go home <laughs> and um and that's it. He just want he knows that it's it's going to satisfy him for the moment. He knows it may not be good for him. He doesn't give a happy hoo-hoo. He does not care at all. He just wants fast, cheap, easy. He doesn't even care what the girl looks like. And before you come at me, girls, with, but what about men make love to socks so they don't have to clean up the mess? This is where our socks are going. We do not lose them in the dryer. Men are Willy Wonka-ing in them and then throw them in the trash. Yeah, I, that's my theory. I could be wrong. But men will do it to a sock, okay? Do you think he cares if she doesn't have an in-shape body? It's warmer than a sock. That's what I'm going to say right there. It is warmer than a sock. So when these guys are out here cheating and you're like, she doesn't even look as pretty as me. Doesn't matter. That, that They don't care. They don't need a girl to be beautiful. They just need her to be easy. That is it. That is the qualification when a man is cheating. The girl is easy. Okay. The next... One is the buffet guy. Now, this is the one that will break you. The buffet, and this goes for both ways for guys and women. I'm just using guys. The buffet guy is the guy that he just wants to be able to have a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. 
he sees it, he wants it, he wants to be able to go up and fill up his plate and be able to have that variety. And that's the guy that you're going to try and try and try. That's the let's go with the flow guy. That's the I'm not ready yet guy. And you'll you'll think if I only this if I and that's the guy that breaks most girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there's the restaurant guy. This is the guy that like dates. He might be the serial dater. You guys might go out for a year or two years, but you never quite get there. Okay, this is the guy that knows how to go on dates. He knows how to be monogamous. He just doesn't pull that trigger. Okay, we've all had that guy too, right? Nothing wrong with him, nothing wrong with you. It just it just never came together. It was like on paper, it looked really good, but it, it didn't, okay? The last guy, the eat at home guy, the let me cook you a meal guy. This doesn't mean go to a guy's house for a meal. No, never do that until you really, 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 really know the guy. Okay, there's a bunch of Tinder stories on this. Don't do that. Um, that's the nester. That's the guy that actually wants to have a serious relationship, get married and treat you like a queen, take care of you. And after you're with the buffet guy, you end up with the nester guy with the let me let me cook for you because you're just done. You're never going to be played with again. <laughs> That's my little analogy. You guys tell me what you think of that. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you have another category to add to that? Let me know. Let me know. Is there another? Did I miss? Did I miss a category? Is there another restaurant type that I missed? I don't know. You guys tell me. Okay, let me see. Um, Oh, Dion was on my New Year's show last year. You guys bring, yeah, this year, bring your New Year's wishes, bring your New Year's um, resolutions, whatever you want to call them. We're going to clear for all of that. We'll be doing connections with loved ones above. Hopefully, um, seriously, hopefully blog talk will be fixed. Yeah, I can talk, but this is, tor this is kind of, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to channel. They're telling me just channel, just Tony, Joop! and channel beep, and channel so oh the fondue guy that's kind of like the buffet guy <laughs> jay francis that's just my instant image on that one was ish ish <laughs> oh my gosh that <laughs> i can't okay i'm gonna channel Let's channel about what do you what do they want to channel about? Does anybody want a specific channeling me to channel about? Oh, I hear money. I heard money come in loud and clear. Uh, oh. Julie, just hold on with your question. I'm going to do a quick channeling right now. And it's going to be about money. So as I channel, I'm going to clear anything that they're saying. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> As you know, your thoughts create everything. And if you do not know that your thoughts create everything, it's time for you to understand the power of your own thinking, the power of the mind and what it brings to you, but also what it does not bring to you. Let's clear that. As you think, there you go. So if you believe or you think that things are going to go in a certain direction or they're going to happen in a certain way, nine times out of 10, they will because you will not be proven to be a crazy person or wrong. You will never, ever let yourself be proven wrong or crazy. So if you say, I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. Sure enough, it will. So we are asking you today, to use those thoughts, to use that power of your mind in a way where you say, I know I'm going to, and then put positive affirmations behind it. Use that power of your mind. Use that power of your creation to create everything that you want, to create everything that you need. 
and hold so tightly to that which you want, to that which you know can be. And remember, it is not wrong to ask for anything. The universe will deliver anything and everything you want. Maybe not the way you want it, but you will receive it. And you will receive it in the way the universe can bring it to you. Maybe not all at once, but possibly in increments. Just hold on to, it can happen, you will get it, it will be yours. And in that knowing, and this cannot be with a specific person, because people have free will and they have destiny, but it can be with the right person. So if we are talking about money and you are saying, I want this much money, I want this much money, I want to earn this much money, I want to bring this much money in. In that moment, the universe will move everything to line you up with either A, the perfect position, the perfect uh, employment, the perfect self-employment. Uh, you may lose your job, so you have to get a job that is in alignment with what you asked for. But when you lose this job, then you go into fear and you say, oh my goodness, I'll take anything now. And you think your last job was the best thing in the world when what we did is we took that out of the way because you would never leave it, but you're asking for this. So we had to take that out of the way so you could get this, but now you went down two levels and now you're afraid and in, in fear, you cannot go up, you can only crawl. So we are asking that if you are asking for a financial uh, incline that you allow yourself to look and to see the opportunities coming to you. If you are asking for love of a certain type and your partner out, all of a sudden leaves you, maybe your partner was not capable of that type of love, but somebody will come in that is capable of that type of love. And you have to be open to all of the possibilities. You can stay here with this or you can let go and have what you're asking for. Maybe you are asking for marriage and the person that you are with does not even believe in marriage. So then you have to be prepared to let go of what you have so you can get what you want. And in life, there is the crux. There it is. You have what you have but here is what you want. And you're never willing to let go of what you have, even though what you have is not making you happy according to your verbalizations and your wishes, but you don't want to let it go so you can get what you really truly want. Once you let go of what you have, or even look for what you want and you find it and you say, but will it really be better? Will this job be better? Will this person be better? Well, it's better the devil I know than the devil I don't. Is that really true? Is that how you are living your life? Live with a choice and a knowing that what you want is waiting for you to be prepared for it. There you go. Okay. Um, just wanted to know when will I get married to this guy, Charles? Thank you, Julie. Julie, um, Charles does want to get married. He does want to marry you. I hear it may end up being a June wedding, June, June wedding. I'm not sure what year it may be in 25. 2025. But please don't bank on that because sometimes if something comes in, it could change it. But as of right now, that is what I'm hearing. That is what I'm hearing. Okay. Charles is not ready yet. There is something about him that is not quite ready yet. Okay. Not quite. Um, so just, if you're okay with that, that's what they have for you, love. That is what they have for you. Uh, God, 
Kylie. You are welcome, Kylie. Kylie says thank you for all you do. That's that's very kind of you, Kylie. Thank you for being here with us. I'm I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful and honored to be able to channel and to be able to do what I do. Um, there have been a lot of sacrifices and choices that have been made for me to be able to continue to do this. And I don't talk about them because I wouldn't even be able to get the words out of my mouth. Um, but um, no, <laughs> there have been a lot of sacrifices of people and things I've ha I've let go of or had to let go of, or they have let go of me uh, because I believe personally uh, fulfilling this work is uh a necessary thing, especially at this time in this world. Okay. Oh, did you guys see that flash? Thank you. Um, love you too, uh, Julie. Love you. Uh, hey, Mystic Raven. Mystic Raven, if you have a question, ask it quickly, because I know last time you asked at the end of the show, you always slide in right at the end. It's like that slide into home plate that you are, um, that you do, Mystic Raven. Um, I think last, I think Monday I missed your question. Will they select me for the job? Angie wants to know, will they select her for the job? Angie, keep looking. I feel like if they do select you, you may not, it may not work out the way you want it to, but because, and because everything you're asking for may not be with this position, it might be a little bit, um, it may be a little bit uh, beyond this position. Um, so keep looking and I feel like it might not be this job or the next one, but the one after that. Okay. Not this one, not the next one, but the one after that. And if that makes sense to you, I, I hope it does, Angie. Um, Oh, that's another show. Um, I just started, so she wants to know my secret for skin and hair. It's It's been a journey, let me tell you, because I have a thyroid issue. And on my next show, I will discuss that because we are at the 59 minute mark. But I will tell you, I found a product that I love that has literally changed my skin. It's Cos. C-O-S-R-X, COSRX. It's a Korean product. They don't put all the things that America puts in their products. And it's, I've only been using it for like two weeks and it's like crazy how much my skin has changed. And then I use red light. I use a lot of red light um, on, my, on my skin. My hair, that's all Thor. That's all Thor, the guy who does my hair. That's all Thor. I can't take any credit on my hair. That's Thor from Salon Thor. Okay, you guys, I love you so stinking much. Mm -hmm.